So, I'm not sure we can do much here. Oh, this could be really good. Ooh. Oh, wait. She destroyed it. All right, well, she's dead. She destroyed my ult. Okay, I'm not gonna ignite here. I'm just gonna do this. Thanks. I didn't want to have to waste my ignite. I can't believe that actually blocks my ult. Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, hi, my name is Eric and I stream almost every day at 11 a.m. EST. If you guys want to catch me live on Twitch or join my very nice Discord community, all my socials are linked down in the description. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you guys like this video. Today we're going to be teaching you guys and hopefully giving you guys some tips on how to play Kiana. Um, Kiana's a champion who I really like playing and I've been playing her since release. I have like around 200k mastery points on her, but I feel like Riot's kind of unnecessarily nerfed her a lot in recent times especially. To the point where I feel like she's not that good, but at the same time, um, apparently she's a really high priority pick in China and some regions like that. So she still definitely has her place in the meta, but I think as her solo queue goes, um, it's kind of weird because you would think that an assassin would thrive in a uh, in a solo queue environment where things are less coordinated, but I actually feel like Kiana does better in a setting where things are more coordinated, if that makes sense. I've always thought that Kiana relies heavily on her jungler, but anyways, we're going to hopefully win our game. We're against the Yasuo and a Nidalee, and actually we have a Yasuo on our team. Um, I noticed that when I was going into the game that... Wait, Mo is on my team, so that's kind of cool, I guess. But uh, hopefully, I don't in, and then he hates me. I I don't think Mo has any negative feelings towards me. I hope so. Fingers crossed. So we're playing against a Yasuo. Kiana's a champion too. Her her early game is really, really, really bad, especially her levels one through three. Um, at level three, she kind of starts picking it back up. Before then, she's really weak. Yasuo outbeats me, um, outpaged me at those levels. So. Um, I just kind of have to let Yasuo do whatever he wants at these levels, try to get as much CS as I can without getting poked, and let him push towards me. Um, Kiana's a champion who I'd consider a champion, um, or Kiana is a champion who I would consider to have, uh, not really any lane priority. You kind of just have to play based off what the enemy laner is doing. You don't really make the decisions in lane, at least in the early lane. You kind of let the enemy make the decisions while you get some levels. But once Kiana gets some levels and some EXP and farm, um... She winds up becoming kind of a monster. The early game, the only way that I feel like you can kill people unless they int you is if your jungler ganks you, but I have a Kha'Zix. Kha'Zix is uh, not really a good champion at ganking mid-early game, so I have to mostly just concede whatever I have to concede while farming as best as I can. Luckily, it's against the Yasuo, not something like a Syndra, who can really zone me away from the wave, but once the wave gets closer to my turret, Yasuo can't do too much to me, so by letting him push towards me, by not auto-attacking the minion wave early game, um, it's really good. It sets me up to be able to just farm for a bit, get some EXP like I need to my win condition this game. It's really important every game to identify what your win condition is, so let's go think about that really quickly. I would say our win condition this game is definitely getting Mo ahead. Um, getting Kha'Zix ahead is going to be really helpful for our team, and I think that's our main way that we win. So we have to kind of play towards that. Another win condition of ours could be getting bot ahead, but I think bot's mostly just a farming lane. I don't think my bot lane really has any pressure towards a, or against a Samira Leona when they're playing Karthus Bard. So I think for the most part, they're just going to be farming. Bard's probably going to start roaming after his first back. And uh, the top matchup. Top matchup could be a win condition. If Akali gets ahead, that's really nice for us. But I wouldn't say that it's necessarily how we win this game. I would say just Kha'Zix getting fed. And then me getting fed after as like an effect of that is probably the easiest way for us to win. So let's see how we can play around that win condition. And let's do it. So the wave's going to start slowly building up back towards Yasuo now. That's how mid lane waves work. Mid lane waves, they ping pong back and forth between turrets. So once the wave hits my turret, it's going to slowly start pushing back towards him. And we can tell the wave's pushing towards Yasuo because I have more minions than he has. So these minions are going to kill his minions and push it into him. So with that in mind, I have to kind of set it up in my mind mentally when I want to crash the wave under his turret. And in my mind, I want to crash it in the next wave. It's always good to crash the wave on a cannon wave. Um, however, you have to be... Um, aware of whether or not you can push it fast enough to get it to crash, or you can't. In this situation, I actually feel like I can't really push it fast enough for it to crash. Mm, maybe I can. I can, I can. I just have to push it really, use all my abilities on the wave right now. The thing is, Yasuo is going to want to trade, so... He might win wall this. If he's a meanie. Oh, nope. Oh, I'm going to miss that, but we got it anyways. Okay, really good. So, uh, we actually was able to get a kill bot lane. Really, really, really good. 
and like I said, it is my role to just farm. When I'm playing Kiana, whenever I'm pushed pretty much past their, uh, like the middle of the lane towards them, I want to get the bush enchantment because it likes it, um, it makes it that I'm really harder to gank. I think that a uh, misplay that a lot of Kianas do in uh, laning phase is that they get the, the wall enchantment too much. I think wall enchantment's good when you need it, but remember, it's only an execute. So unless you really need just like a quick enchantment or you need the execute, it's better to get the bush or the river. The river pressures a gank, so if you have the river, you always have to be scared that Kiana's gonna get a gank. And if you have the bush, it's hard to gank Kiana herself. I will gladly flash on Italy here. Okay, nice. Uh, he's just gonna go here for him. Got him. Cool, cool, cool. Really good, really good. He was trying to play around his wind wall right there, but I was luckily um, like aware of that, so I held on to my Q and kind of baited him into like doing some weird pathing right there, and we were able to pick up both of the kills, so that is actually amazing for us, so good job, team. Pat myself on the back, too, because I, I rotated, so good. Uh, Kiana is really good in these early game skirmishes, although she's a weak laner, she's such a strong uh, skirmisher. So even at like level 3 skirmishes, level 4 skirmishes, level 5 skirmishes, she's really uh, strong. Now, this is bad. Okay, it's not terrible. I thought Leona was going to go hold the wave for Yasuo, but she didn't, so that's good for me. And for my first item, I'm going to go ahead and get uh, Umbral Glaive. Umbral Glaive is a good item on Kiana. It gives you an early power spike of being able to clear division, as well as being able to get that extra bit of uh, lethality that it gives you. It's a really cheap item, so it's a good just first rush item on Kiana. A lot of people ask me when I play Kiana on stream if I if they should get um, Tiamat or not. Oh, that was well played. He said. Oh. Good job, Kali. Um, I don't think Tiamat's a good item on Kiana anymore after they made it cost more money. And I think that it's just better to go full lethality. So that is what I'm going to be doing. Mm, even though I probably could trade with Yasuo, I'm not going to try to opt into it just because I'm not really ahead right now, right? There's no point in me fighting. Whenever you fight someone, I'll take like a little thing like that, but even that wasn't really worth. But whenever you fight someone, you really want to like keep it in your mind. Like, do you have to fight them? Like for me right now, it's like if I fight Yasuo, like there's like a 50% chance to kill him and a 50% chance I die. And it, my team's ahead, so why would I fight him, right? So it's better if I just keep the wave in a good spot for me, which is right over here at my turret, and then I just get the farm. Um, I can just wait for my team to come and help me too. Like, uh, I'm just gonna farm here. Maybe I'll get a gank from Kha'Zix. Maybe I won't. We'll see. We'll see if Mo wants to help me. No, Mo wants to farm. That's okay. Mo knows what he's doing. He's actually a good jungler too, I think. Didn't he get to challenge around jungle? Or isn't he trying to? Something like that. But he can play jungle pretty well. So, cool. I'm just gonna keep letting Yasuo push it towards me. I'm not in a position where I could fight him. I'm like, chunk 25% of my health, and I don't really have my, uh... My team, so I'm just gonna try to get the farm. Keep getting the bush enchantment. Oop, that was the river one by accident, but you know, he got some poke on him, I guess. He's probably gonna NATO this now, I would think. Nope, he's not gonna NATO it, so I'm just gonna. So, yes, then. The wave, uh, let me play Dora right here. Is the wave pushing towards me or towards him? Okay, the, the answer is. Oh, wait, okay, I'm getting a game. The answer is the wave's pushing towards me because he has more minions than me. So now he also doesn't have flash, we're gonna ping that. And that's really good. That's so good for me because the wave's pushing towards me, so if Yasuo wants to CS, he has to walk up to the wave and risk getting ganked again now that he doesn't have flash. So this is so good for me. Basically that won me my lane, kind of. Like Yasuo's doomed, he can't farm. He can't farm for the next two or three waves, so really good. I know you guys like when I talk about like wave management and stuff, and I think it's really important for mid lane. I think I'm decent at it, and I think I'm decent at explaining it, so hopefully it helps you a little bit. Uh, the games that I play. Even if you don't want to learn to play Kiana, the wave management hopefully helps you anyways. So wave's pushing towards me. Um, he's still a bit scared that Kha'Zix is coming. Because I have the water enchantment too, he's even extra scared because he knows that I can get him with the water. And I'm going to max E second. There's been times when I play Kiana, like periods of time where I max W second. I don't think it's terrible, but I've seen that like uh, the higher ELO players in different servers, like the Chinese Kianas, they like to max E second. And most people max E second anyways, so I'm just going to go the standard E max second. So really good for me. Waves pushing towards me, he can't really farm. Very good, very good. I'm just going to let it be like this forever. If I try to push the wave right now and auto attack it unnecessarily, he's just going to get all this farm for free. Whereas if I just hold it, he loses all this farm. But I am going to have to ping it a little bit. Okay, wave's still pushing towards me. 
really, really good. He's going to miss a whole nother wave too. So basically, look at this, guys. He's lost two waves of EXP, kind of. The only thing he could do right now is either stay and try to get CS and risk dying to a gank, or roam, or recall, which I think is what he did, but recalling, I just assume, is the same as roaming. Like, get away from lane, in other words. Just trying to scare him a little bit right there. Um, I'm gonna actually look to rotate right here though, although I'm not sure we can do much here. Oh, this could be really good. Ooh. Oh wait, she destroyed it. Alright, well she's dead. She destroyed my ult! Okay, I'm not gonna ignite here, I'm just gonna do this. I didn't want to have to waste my ignite. I can't believe that actually blocks my ult, but it makes sense because it's kind of like a win wall. Oh, imagine guys when they have two win walls on their team. Okay, good though. Really good. And the Karthus ult too, and we stole the dragon. Oh, oh, everything was so clean right there, except for the fact that my ult got, you know, deleted. But still, that was really good. So I want to get a recall right now. I have 2k gold. You know, I got money in the pockets. I want to spend it. You know, I got my Louis Vuitton on. I got 2k in my pocket. I want to spend it. So we're going to recall now. Uh, we're going to crash the wave in and then recall. You always want to crash the wave in before you recall or have the wave pushing towards you before you recall just so the wave's in a good spot and set up for you when you come back into lane. So I'm going to go get my this thingy now, this thingy now, this thingy, and this thingy. For my second item, um, it's kind of preference on whether you want to go um, Duskblade or Yomu's. I always like to go um, Duskblade though just because it gives you the most lethality out of any item and it works so well with your bush because um, you can constantly proc the passive of it with the bush since you got out of sight. So that's what I'm going to go second. Although if you like Yomu's, power to you. Go Yomu second, it's fine. Okay. And I'm gonna put my pink inside of here. And Yasuo still doesn't have flash, so. Okay, well she got instantly deleted. That's cool, cause he's about to die too, cause he doesn't have flash. Maybe she dies too, actually. Okay, well, that works. <laughs> That's really good, I guess. So cool. We got a, we got, we got a, we got a kill right there. We got three kills actually. Um, this game at this point, I feel like is mostly over. But I think that we played um, our laning phase really, really well as Kiana. We just kind of uh, looked at our win condition and played our waves correctly. So hopefully this helps you. I'm like saying it as if it's an outro, but we still have like the whole game to play. But hopefully it helps you guys uh, learn how to lane a little bit better. Because I think early game is the most important phase of the game. If you can master your early game, that's like already like 75% of the work. Mid game and late game are just a direct result of early game. And to get better at mid and late game, it's a lot easier than to get better at early game. So just really work on your early games, in other words. So I'm going to recall... I actually... Like, weirdly enough, I don't like getting tier 2 boots on Kiana really early. I feel like I just prefer to get the, the AD a lot. I don't really like Mobis too much anymore either, because Mobis is such like a such a gold investment these days, because they up the price of it, that it makes it so that um, I just want to just rush Lethality, get tier 1 boots, and just kind of play off my movement speed for my W, and just kind of plays that are made around mid lane. Although, um, it's not bad in certain matchups to just rush the Mobis and just go Fiesta mode. Um, we saw Yasuo go towards the top side, so I'm a little scared he's going to get, like, bushwhacked or something, but I think he's probably okay. Nope, there he is. Okay, I don't want to fight Yasuo still even now. It's actually crazy. I really don't want to 1v1 Yasuo. Kiana, especially against a champion like Yasuo, who's good at extended trades, you don't really want to fight, especially when there's no point to. Like, there's really no point to fight right now. All I have to do to win this game is play around Mo, and then we just win. So, look right here. Free Nidalee kill. That's what I see, at least. Okay, nope. She made it in picture frame timing. Maybe I'll kill Yasuo here, though. Let's see. Yeah, I got Kha'Zix coming. Could be good. I'm just going to keep chasing. I do have a lot of movement speed. Oh, my ult got deleted again by the other wall. By the real wall this time. No! Oh, God. Is this the time to show me the death animation? Oh, I didn't have electrocute up. Oh, I'm so dead here. Hmm. 
Oh, I was trying to outplay there. I was trying to like E it and then get the bush enchantment and go invisible, but I think I could have outplayed it a little bit more. I'm kind of sad though that I wasn't able to kill Nidalee just because I didn't have my electrocute up, so that third auto wasn't able to get like the finishing blow. But it's okay. I mean, the game's going pretty well otherwise. I was just really unlucky that he windwalled my ult. I have to be more careful about that. I have to not get my ult deleted. Like every single one of my ults this game's got deleted so far, but it's fine. You know, I wanted to show you guys the death animation, make the game a little more interesting. This is solo queue, things happen, realistic. Um, and now I'm going to go for my Duskblade. Duskblade builds the same as Yomu, so, you know, even though I'm hovering Yomu's right here, it's just it's the same. Um, dragon spawning, so that's going to be the next fight. I'm not going to have my ult up for the dragon fight, but it's fine. I don't think Nidalee has, like, any summoner spells now. We also know that Jace doesn't have TP. I think he used it in the last little skirmish that happened right there. This is probably warded, so, yeah, I'm going to go do that. Oh, there's Nidalee. Okay. That was kind of a lot of damage, but not enough, thankfully. Okay, Yasuo got hit, but... Okay, so he's focusing Nidalee just so we get the free dragon. It's better if we kill the jungler than Yasuo there, if we have to pick one of them so we can get dragon for free. Got her. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I feel like Kiana's a really good champion. If you're a jungle main, you probably like having Kiana on your team because she's very good at uh, helping you for the jungler. As long as the jungler understands Kiana's needs and, like, you know, what Kiana can do, they'll have a good time because she's very good at helping them. So I'm just going to go and yoink these from Nidalee right now. Try to at least. If Jace comes here, I'm a little sad. Um, you can actually get Bush through there, so that's a good little tip that you guys can do on Kiana. And I do a lot of damage. I could literally one-shot the casters with my auto attacks. Feels good. And I can also afford my Dust Blade, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And for my third item, um, I feel like some people say that it's bad to go with third lethality item, but I feel like if, it is, if it's in a game like this where you're so ahead, it's not that bad. So I'm probably just going to go Yomus for my third item and then segue that into maybe a LDR, some sort of armor pen item, and I think it's good. But hopefully you guys are having a great night, day. I'm actually recording this at nighttime. Normally I record kind of like in the evening, daytime-ish, but I'm recording it now at night, so. Random fact that like no one cares about, but you know, just saying it anyways. <laughs> okay. Ooh, whoops. Oh my goodness. Okay, he said two there. They're pro I'm surprised they haven't ff yet, but give it three minutes and they probably will. Okay, and I could just look for Nidalee here, honestly. Oh, she's dead. Alright, well, uh, Nidalee can't get out of her base. <laughs> if she goes to top side, she dies. If she goes to bot side, I kill her, so let's see. I feel like she's gonna throw a spear in here and come through here or something. Yeah, I might be able to kill her here now, though. You thought Nidalee. She was so careful there too. That's my favorite part. You know how much I love killing the enemy jungler. Whenever I'm playing a champion, any assassin, killing the enemy jungler just gives me like the best feeling in the world. And right there, I got my fix. <laughs> Their bot lane's not doing too bad. Oh, well, I mean, Leona is, but Spear's not doing too bad. So, you know, have to be a little scared of her, but it seems like they're just kind of AFK bot laning, pushing the wave while we just kill everyone else over the map. So that's nice, I guess. And my camps are back up. These are not Nidalee's camps. These are my camps now. And I'm going to get the water enchantment. Oh, they had vision somewhere there. This could be me and saying, do we do it, guys? Yeah, we do it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Me killing the enemy jungler again. It just feels too good. I can't I can't help myself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I just can't. Alright. Nice. Well this is fun. <laughs> this is fun mode now. Okay, he should just be dead here too. Yeah, it could have been me inting. Oh my oh my god. Alright, Jace, your turn. This is what you get for killing me. Oh he's kind of tanky, huh? Oh, that was weird. I could have killed him if I landed that, I think. He was surprisingly tanky, that's why I didn't like do it super quickly. But he has no armor, he just has like a lot of health between the page and the thingy. Oh. Don't want to tank that for too long. 
Um, Nidalee's going to her top side now. Let's go pay her a visit. <laughs> Let's pay Nidalee a visit. I know she's here. I like smell her. I smell her cat paws. Let me break this so quickly first. Yeah, there she is. All right, Nidalee. Just let it, let us get over with it. All right, Nidalee, fine. Let, let us get it over with quickly. She knows. She comes to me. She's like, all right, Kiana. Just kill me again. Um, anyways. I guess now. Oh, I think I'm dead. Yeah, I inted. Did you have a heal for me, Bard? No. Okay. I inted. Um, just limit testing right there. Shouldn't have done that, but it's okay. I'm gonna go, and I can't afford this just yet. But I can get both of these components. And yeah. I kind of insta right there. Please don't hate me. I feel like a pumpkin in this shirt too, by the way. This is my pumpkin shirt. Um, I love it though. We're, you know, we're getting in the Halloween spirit a little early. Okay, good job team. Go team, go team, go team. And... Let's go get the dragon now. Okay. Looks like my team's fighting, which they can do because we are currently uh, like 100,000 kills to zero kills. The correct play there is to get the dragon, but you know, does it really matter when, when we can just do this to them? We'll call you with the happy feet. All right, it's Nidalee. I guess they want me to pick them up. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Carve just got him. Okay. <laughs> yes, I missed the cannon. I know it's what everyone's thinking right now. Yes, I did. Um, at this point, game's done. We won, but. Let's not get too cocky, because I've lost games uh, that were seemingly more won than this. Alright, let's go wait for our next victim. Who's our next victim? Alright, who? place your bets. Place your bets in the chat. In the comments. Who do you think it's going to be? Jace? Oh, okay. Never mind. He saw me. I think Jace's Q gives vision. Does it? Let me know in the comments. I'm pretty sure it does. Mm, Jace, you got big nuts trying to break that one over there. Oh, Jace, you are crazy trying to block like that. All right, let's go just um, go do the dragon for free. Like, might as well just take the free win, guys. Let's not throw our lead just to get some kills. Although, you know, patting my KD would feel nice. Okay, we do this really quickly. And I can actually recall now and get my Yomu's. Yomu's kind of acts like a fake um, tier 2 boots just because it gives me um, 40 movement speed out of combat. So that's kind of just like even better than the movement speed I'd get from upgrading to tier 2. Okay, so now we move a lot faster, and we also have the active. Yomu's active is so underrated, it's really good too. What does it give you? 20% movement speed for 6 seconds, and the ability to move through units. I actually didn't know that it gave you, um, like, the ghosted effect, which makes sense, because it's called Yomu's Ghost Blade, but cool, uh, cool fact. It lets you walk through units. Alright, Nidalee. You know the drill. <laughs> you know the drill, Nidalee. Come here and let's make it quick. Come on, Nidalee, come here. Oh, Nid okay, Nidalee, fine. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to go pick you up here then. I know you're in here. Nidalee, where you at? Hmm, where'd she go? Samira got a triple kill. Nidalee, where'd you go? She, oh, she went that way. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we're like really, uh, we're having fun, and that's what we're doing right now. What we need to do is just get Baron, though, and win the game. Because that would be uh, just how to end this. And not let Samir 1v9 it. I'm going to go kill this. I think that Nidalee might actually run into me, too. Either that, or she's... Hmm, where is Nidalee? Oh, there she is. Alright, Nidalee. Oh. Hello. <laughs> into the wall you go. 
and now we just do the free baron that their jungler said and we win the game come on team let's go no more time for trolling or i'm gonna end up lucky sevens this game because i'm gonna die five times in a row okay i don't really do too much damage to objectives so i'm just mostly on zoning control whoever like walks through here i'll just try to kill or something don't think they're stupid enough to walk through here though they're just giving the baron for free smart of them um, another thing about Kiana is I feel like she's hard to pick into a team comp because, or into most team comps because she's AD. So you want to make sure you have some AP on your team before you pick her, unless they're full squishy. But even then, I would still prefer to have some sort of AP. This game, I'm able to go because both my ADC and my top laner are AP champions. So Kiana is not a bad pick. We don't have to worry about them building armor and just being able to tank everything. All right. All right, Natalie. Oh, I want to help them. I'm surprised he didn't take that. Alright, I, I showed Mercy on Italy right there. Yasuo doesn't get my Mercy though, he's playing Yasuo. Oh no, am I dead? Oh, yes I am. Oh, are they all dead? No? What is this? Get me out, just let me end, please. <laughs> please, we're gonna win this game, just let us end, put us out of our misery. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and get the armor pen item now. Okay, Akali's TPing. Don't think she's gonna be able to kill though here. Yeah. Holy moly. <laughs> this game. Maybe Akali kills? Yeah, Nidalee's kind of feeding. Oh, no, she's dead. Nidalee's passive gives vision or true sight of Akali. And we could just play for the next dragon, get Dragon Soul. It's pretty free. Oh, there's their surrender. Okay, finally. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I think we played the early game and mid game really well. Late game was a fiesta, just a solo queue. But we won the game, and hopefully you guys learned how to play early game and mid game a little bit better at late game. I don't know if you want to take notes from this game, but maybe you do. Um, either way, I'll see you guys next time, and I hope you liked it. And if you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And thank you. I'll give it to Mo. Okay, bye, guys.